just hours before the presidential debate is meant to start, Donald Trump has received some terrible news that is sure to make his head spin. And the people delivering the news is the Kamala Harris campaign, which really just rubs salt in the wound. So I want to show you this brand new reporting we have. We'll talk about it a little bit. But before I do so, make sure to subscribe to this channel down below. It really helps. It goes a long way. But let's just take a look at this reporting, shall we? So here it is, and you can see it on your screen right now. Harris is bringing two former Trump administration officials as her debate guests. Now, we already know how Donald Trump feels about former advisors or administration officials turning on him. He calls them rhinos or fake or frauds or something along those lines. So this is going to anger him no doubt. And in this article by Politico, it says Vice President Kamala Harris is bringing two unusual guests to tonight's debate in Philadelphia, two former officials in her opponent's administration. It's part of the campaign's ongoing effort to use Donald Trump's former allies to get under his skin in the lead up to the debate. And as they seek to woo both prominent Republican officials and rank and file voters who oppose Trump in what will almost certainly be a close election. Now, I think this is a great move for a number of reasons. Like, not only does it get under Donald Trump's skin, which is a great goal to have when it comes to a presidential debate, but it also is a sign to voters, like Republican voters, independents, whatever it might be, see former Trump administration officials backing Kamala Harris. They might feel maybe more inclined to jump ship with them as well and join the Harris campaign. The two people that are going there are going to be former Trump White House communications director, Anthony Scaramucci, who is been very vocally opposed to Donald Trump for quite some time now, and former Trump national security official Olivia Troy, and they will attend the debate as the vice president's guest and surrogates. The two are expected to warn of the dangers of a second Trump presidency and why they believe he shouldn't return to office at a press availability at the debate site. So they're not only going there to just like stand in the room and look around and be there for a photo op. No, they're going to be surrogates. They're going to be talking to media about why Donald Trump is dangerous and why he certainly does not deserve a second term in the White House. And the, the Harris campaign actually spoke about this uh, in, in a comment, the he, Harris communications director, Michael Taylor, said, listen, don't take it from us. Take it from the ones who know Donald Trump the best and are telling the American people exactly how unfu unfit Trump is to serve as president. Now, as Americans prepare to tune in for tonight's debate, these former Trump staffers are warning that a second Donald Trump presidency would be far more dangerous and extreme than the first. Now, the Trump campaign has already snapped back at this reporting. They're very angry about it, and you can feel the anger from them in the statement that I'm going to read you. Trump's campaign spokesperson, Stephen Chung, responded in a statement saying, quote, nobody is going to listen to someone who was a low-level staffer who didn't even work for Donald Trump and someone who barely lasted more time than an expired ham sandwich as White House communications director. That's what we call coping. He's coping. That's what the Trump campaign is doing here. First of all, both of these people worked for and worked in the Trump administration. So I don't know what he's talking about. The Trump campaign never likes to focus on facts, but this is so clearly not true. Obviously, they served and worked in the Trump administration. And to say and to just write them off as low level staffers and that's why people won't listen to them is stunning. That's stunning because these are people who have been in the room with Donald Trump behind the scenes. So, you know, that's why I say they're coping. They're coping. They don't really know how to deal with the news. They don't have an adequate response, so they just attack these people's character or attack what they did for Donald Trump. Reminder, both of these people were picked by Donald Trump, especially Anthony Scaramucci, for his administration. Now, this isn't the only bad news that Donald Trump has gotten in connection to the debate. The, the main bad thing that he's going to see right off the bat when entering Philly is all of the support for Kamala Harris, right? The, the city of Philly right now is packed full of Kamala Harris signs, posters, and supporters, everything is just pro-Kamala, anti-Trump. And here's a video I want to show you kind of showing this. I mean, just look at this long line of people in Philly in Kamala Harris shirts, uh, holding her banners, holding her signs. I mean, it is remarkable. Just take a look at this. Yep. Oh, no. Oh, my God, no. 
Yeah, I mean, look at all these people. All these people, and the video goes on. The video goes on for a long time of this long line of people lined up to support Kamala Harris. It's remarkable. That's what Philly looks like right now. All of these different groups of people, different backgrounds, different races, different origins, supporting Kamala Harris in the key swing state of Pennsylvania. These folks are showing up. I thank them for showing up and making their voices heard for Kamala Harris as we get closer to the debate. At the time of filming this, we're like two hours away, so it's very close. And also, this is not, you know, these are people showing up for Kamala Harris. This is not the campaign. The campaign, however, have made themselves known in the city of Philly. Like, just take a look at this video of a billboard they have in center Philly. Look at this. Look at that. Crowd, <laughs> the billboard says crowd size matters, and it has uh, two different Philly pretzels on the screen kind of. Uh, giving an indication of who has the bigger crowds in this instance. I love that. The campaign is trolling Donald Trump at the maximum level. And as I said, this is going to drive him crazy. Not only does he have former Trump administration officials, people he picked uh, on behalf at, at, the, at the Harris campaign, uh, at the spin room on behalf of the Harris campaign, but there's also billboards and signs everywhere calling Donald Trump out. It is truly remarkable. It's so amazing to see. Philly is showing up up for Kamala Harris and her campaign ahead of the presidential debate tonight. Now, this debate, in my view, is not going to be close. Whether you're watching this before, during, or after the debate, you know this too as well. This debate's not going to be close. Kamala Harris has been a prosecutor her entire life. She has literally been trained in debating, in being on her toes, and adapting to situations as they hit her. That is what prosecutors do, and Kamala Harris was a really good prosecutor. So on the stage tonight, we're going to have the convicted felon of 34 felonies, the proven assaulter, the proven fraudster, versus someone who is a prosecutor, has dedicated their lives to public service, and will prosecute the case against Donald Trump tonight in front of the American people. I'm excited. I think you're excited too. And of course, we'll talk about all of this once it happens, but I am ready. I am ready to see Donald Trump get called out on a national scale in front of tens of millions of Americans, like 50 million plus people will be tuning in tonight. So I'm excited. Um, I'll wrap up the video there. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you being here. Make sure to subscribe to this channel down below. We'll be talking about the debate as I mentioned. Also drop a like on the video and comment. Let me know what you think about all of this stuff and this reporting as well. And look, as I always say, I hope you have a great rest of your day and enjoy the debate. It is surely going to be a good one.